Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this webisode. We like to bring in businesses to share tips and ideas about their industry. And today I have Kevin Seifert with uh, Kevin Seifert Photography. And Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Thank yep. you for having me. Sure. Why don't you explain to the viewers a little bit about yourself? Uh, uh, so I'm an editorial-based uh, photographer. Uh, I've worked for the Durham Herald Sun for about nine and a half years. And uh, I've run a full-time photography business, uh, corporate um, and, and uh, private events for uh, the last six years. Okay. All right, so today I brought you in because I want you to talk. A, I know you've done quite a few uh, weddings, and I want you to kind of give some tips on how to maybe uh, hire a photographer. Sure. So uh, in photography and a lot of businesses, actually, um, there are three Ps to hiring a photographer. Um, the first one is uh, personality, and then the uh, second one would be professionalism. And this is my ranking, of course. Uh, portfolio would be third. And then pricing is the, the, the fourth P. Um, so an example of this would be uh, personality. In a, in a wedding especially, the photographer is going to be right near you the whole time as the bride and the groom. So, you know, the best compliment I can get or that I've got that I get from brides is they say, I don't even remember you being there. How did you get so close to me? And I don't even remember you being in that being being there. Um, and it didn't affect the shot, but it, it made beautiful art. So um, personality is definitely a, a key. Um, I think it's it's probably the, for weddings. It's probably the most important for the bride and groom because that's how you're going to choose. You really got to get along with that person. Mm -hmm. The second one for me is professionalism. So of course, as as the hiring person, as the guest of honor, you know you want somebody. You want good customer service. You know and that's that's really hard to tell on the front end. However. More so uh, for professionalism, I would say working with other vendors. You do, um, you've done several hundred wedding videos, and you can kind of uh, tell, you know, what a, what a good vendor is having that working relationship. Yeah, yeah. I just want to add that you know, working with a photographer that doesn't want to be a team member is so uh, crucial because um, you know I go into a wedding uh, as like a team, and you know if I'm out and the for some reason you happen to go to the restroom or get something to eat and they're getting ready to cut the cake i'm coming to look for you but i've worked with photographers in the past where it's all about them and they barely say hi to you they get in front of your shot they just don't work together so it is very important yeah and it, likewise i mean if you have a, a video in your in your way or the wedding planners got allows people to put their cell phones out in the middle of the aisle it's going to ruin our shot so you know working with those vendors and making sure that they um are clear to the respective guests and um, serving the same purpose, which is to make the bride and groom uh, at his, enjoy their own wedding, right. you know, um, and the guest as well. Um, so uh, the next thing would be portfolio. Um, you, most of the time nowadays, everybody's looking at online portfolios. So you're probably going to have an idea of kind of the style you like in their portfolio. So um, I'm a photo photojournalist by, um, by approach, meaning I'm not just, you know, saying, hey, I shoot uh, in this particular style. Um, I believe that's an approach. Um, so you're going to be already look at some of these portfolios. So by that time, um, you're already comparing like to like. You're not going to call somebody up to find out their personality without at least kind of getting their portfolio. Um, and that'll also establish the last P, which is the price range. Um, a lot of times you'll, you'll notice um, photographers don't list their prices. Uh, for the most part, they, they might have a starting point, like my packages on Saturday start at $2,500. Uh, keep in mind that's a Saturday package because that same photographer might do a Sunday wedding for a little bit less or might even do a weeknight wedding you know, with you know, 20 or 30 guests at, at somebody's house. Um, so there's a, a wide variety. Um, but the portfolio part of it will establish the pricing um, as well as you can then compare uh, that type of wedding. So if you see a wedding at a similar venue that you have with that feels like it's going to be about as big as your wedding, then that gives the the idea of how much that um, price can be as opposed to asking that question first. Photographer just doesn't have any, I'm not going to have any answers for you until I know at least um, day of your wedding, maybe a little bit about your, um, your, your approach um, and how many people are going to be there. So there's a lot that goes into that. Um, now, the one thing that can help with pricing is if you have a wedding planner um, working with that that's um, got that has involved the photographer in the conversation, 
then a lot of times they'll have two or three photographers and they'll already know the price range of those before they com- they before they hook you up with somebody that's way out of your budget or just not doing good enough work for you know for your caliber of wedding right okay yeah and i mean it's real important to know that each um wedding is is custom it's a custom package so yeah i mean if they have 60 people or 350 people obviously it's going to be a, a different price yeah so anyway kevin that's all we have for today thank you for the information right. Thank you again for having me, Jeff. Yeah, and if any of you out there would like more information or want to contact Kevin, please check out his website that will be displayed at the end of this video. That's all we have for this time. Until next time, take care.